welcome today because what we thought was going to be a huge shift in football, soccer, whatever you want to call it, seems like it's going to be canned because the Super League was announced on Sunday. Whole football, soccer world were really worried about it. Fans protesting, of course, if you saw around um, social media on the weekend, not, not on the weekend, on the last few days, especially today with Chelsea supporters. Lots of outrage about it. <laughs> we'll get into well, that big news with well, Manchester well, United was, but happy tears. You no, know, he's, he's gone. <laughs> okay, yes, Ed Woodward is apparently gone from Manchester United. Apparently, he is resigning due to all of this. But it all started er, not like less than an hour ago, where uh, it was Manchester City. They pulled out of the Super League. Uh, they no longer wanted to be part of the scheme. Then it was uh, Chelsea. Roman Abramovich decided Chelsea could not go ahead with joining the U- European Super League. And together with the board, he gave the green light for the club to start preparing documentation to pull out. Laporta communicated saying Barca will not enter the Super League without the approval of assembly of members. It is they who decide it is their club. Well, there's rumors about a Falcon Madrid pulling out. And really, can you really have a Super League with eight teams? I don't know. <laughs> oh my this is the best thing yes, that happened to yes. Manchester United Go ahead, Waz. You, you take the, take the, floor. <laughs> the collapse of the European Super League may well see the Glazer family sell the club <laughs> oh my gosh please get them out of here you fucking rats apologies to swear <laughs> you, uh... yeah, Ed Woodward has resigned as chairman of Manchester United Where, where's this Glazer news coming from Mike Keegan. I, I hope something happens with, like, John Henry as well, because I, I, I'm a Liverpool supporter, it's, it's and, like, this. like yeah. the guys turned their back on the club, but, jeez, this is massive right now. This is, this is beautiful and disgusting at the same time. I mean, it's disgusting that it got to this point. We initially thought that the Super League thing was going to continue on, because why would they go this far? Either that, or that UEFA and these clubs would come to an agreement, and... These big clubs would get the big money they wanted it all along. But right now, a bunch of things are happening. Breaking news is still going on right now. This is massive news. Uh, Greg, what's your initial thoughts? It's crazy. It's it's what I think everyone wanted to see. Fans coming together. Team and player stepping up. Manager stepping up. Everyone stepping up. Let's not forget, yeah. A bunch of players have started speaking and, uh, out. Managers. Cl- different clubs that will... To be fair, weren't involved in the Super League, but... I loved what Pep said today. Loved it. Jurgen yesterday, he was kind of put in a bad spot because his team was playing at the same time, so it makes it a little more difficult. Pep's well, just kind of coming I'd out. I'd say with Klopp, because like, like his team, team were preparing game for game a match game. on Monday, and then all this news breaks, and they have to focus on the match and trying to get a result. Yeah, and so then, of course, the fans protest. You can't you can't say enough about fans in the sport. No, without fans, there's nothing. And from all these clubs around... At the grounds on social media, they spoke out against it. And it's very important because w- why the Super League isn't a good thing for those that might not know or haven't done enough research about it is that it pretty much kills the sport in other countries around Europe and kills what was meant, what was, it pretty much kills how the sport was built up through community and things like that. It's just such a beautiful day. Edward Ward will apparently I'll remain at his role right until the end of the year, and then he ha- will leave. Good! Go into hiding, you little rat. The European Super League was never the same after Petrocek got involved. <laughs> the European Super League <laughs> is saving it's, it's... football. Well, I mean, you know, the, the in a different, in a different way. For, like, like, so Liverpool and uh, City, you guys are not going to be winning titles for long with United back in the fold. Woodward's gone. United's back. We're gonna win the treble. Calm down, man. Your your team was about to be extinct, dude. <laughs> okay, we don't need a shut off, boss. Yeah, there. You go. Eduardo Hagen. He says Ignelli has resigned. I don't know if this is legitimate or not. He is, of course, the president of Juventus and one of the big players in this Super League, along with Florentino Perez, who is the president of Real Madrid, Glazer, the owners of Manchester United, uh, John Henry owner of Liverpool, and 
part I think Stan Kroenke, who's the owner of Arsenal, is part was part of it as well. One thing I, I want to ask you guys is: Do you think these clubs should be punished? Yes, they wanted to change the sport for their own greed, and that would affect everyone else negatively. Despite them saying yeah. they were trying to help European football, so I think them threatening to do something like that and nearly getting away with it while saying oh we still want to compete in the league that shouldn't go unpunished it shouldn't and I, the punishment i think I, I don't know what type of punishment i think yeah. fines are kind of pointless as a punishment like point deductions maybe fines would be pointless <laughs> allegation and, like, you would say ban them from European competitions, even if the Super League doesn't happen. But then again, UEFA would want them in these in the Champions League. So that's, like, yeah. And, and like, so, like, Champions League, of course, is next week. It's, like, are what happens there? Like, three of those teams are in there. It's I'm sure they want those games to still happen. It's it's entertainment for fans. It's money. It's... It's everything. Well, but they need to be punished, and fans can't forget what these owners have done. Because if they're willing to do it one time, why wouldn't they be yeah. willing to do it again sometime in the future? It's going to... I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see what actually happens. Because I don't know. Fines, like you said, I agree, Lucas, are, are pointless for those kind of teams. Like, it doesn't do enough. Points reduction definitely hurts. But... Is it enough? I mean, it would hurt. I think it would hurt all the teams except for Manchester City because even a 20 point deduction for Manchester City, they'd still be in yeah. second place. <laughs> what do you think like the point reduction would be this season or would they put it like next season? Uh, I, I don't know. That's not, thankfully, I'm not in charge. I, I feel like sometimes the Premier League doesn't do the best with things like that, unfortunately. As a Fulham fan, you know, uh, relegation would be good for me. <laughs> Hey, if Arsenal get a 20-point reduction, you're ahead of Arsenal. <laughs> that's fair enough. Yeah, that's the thing. Points production, how much points? Like it, We we all just don't know. Because, like, for the Prem teams, example, if if they got relegated, that means six teams from the championship go up, which is crazy. So, like, that, that'd, be, yeah. that'd be crazy. But they're not going to relegate them forcefully. They're not going to do that. Well, I mean, there's still there's still the big elephant in the room. Uh, even after all this, is that UEFA is making their the new version of the Champions League, which yeah. is gonna be very interesting. That uh, that that's still there, and a lot of people are not the biggest fan of it. I I, I didn't really look into the details of it, but it's almost like it's still a super league. What they're it's trying kind to build, of a super but... league. Like apparently, some teams can qualify based on merit, uh, not just on like what they do in the league which mm -hmm. i think a lot of people have a problem with i think there's more games in the champions league so that's another problem because more play more games means uh players getting more tired and there's already a lot of football soccer going on throughout uh throughout europe yeah. in general if agnelli does resign the juventus president i'm not a fan yeah. of that guy whatsoever i think he's a massive fraud i think he never cared about the sport in my opinion he previously said things like atalanta don't deserve to be on the in the champions league just because they had one good season and things like that guys guys like him annoy me in the sport because they i don't think they truly care about the sport there is now immense pressure for fiorentino perez to resign and resign at real madrid according to miguel well, delaney I, I don't know how much i trust miguel delaney there right now because <laughs> Florentino Perez is about to... I think he just got re-elected because there's no opposition. <laughs> Not many people wanted this. There's the, there's like the few, but... I, I, I think lots of people can stand with us there saying, we did not want this, we did not want this change, and we're happy that it's... people are stepping up like this. Now, there are some problems still because, of course, a big reason why these Super League clubs wanted this Super League is because more financial opportunity they thought UEFA weren't running things perfectly and maybe UEFA aren't running things the best maybe they there's things that they have to improve on and hopefully hopefully 100 this makes these people wake up and realize they need to fix something but then again they can't just succumb to these big clubs either although these big, big clubs do make a lot of the revenue if the Glazers are gone this will be the best thing that's happened to Manchester United 
I'm just saying a lot. There's I think some people are saying, oh, it's not gonna do shit. No, this is what Manchester United fans have been wanting since they bought the club. They have ruined our club since they joined. They're the reason why we're in this position. Why we're not among Europe's elite anymore. You know, Bayern, Real Madrid. If they're gone and we get a good owner, suitable owner who cares about the interests and values of this club, we will be back there winning Champions Leagues, winning Premier Leagues, especially with the right investments well, there. Let's not, let's not worry about the investment part. Let's worry about getting the right people that care about the fans, first of all, instead of just yeah. letting people who, letting in an owner that can potentially want to break away again. You can't get too carried away with everything right now, but a lot of it, what we're hearing is good. Of course, change is always good, but... The change that was proposed was very drastic and not beneficial to the grand scheme of the sport, in my opinion. 100%.